So, has it ever seemed to you like the harder you search for peace, the more elusive it is? If it does, that's in the Bible. Someplace there's a verse that says, Peace, peace they cry, but there is no peace. God comes to us and gives us peace, not because we deserve it, not because we earned it, not because we're the right kind of people or good people, no, but because God is a God of grace. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. Here Paul is speaking of our natural limitations. And his standard of teaching is actually quite clear. What new life requires has already been accomplished for us in Christ. Servitude to sin is futile, and the end of it in every single case is death. Some of you are familiar with the name Nadia Boltz Weber. She is an ELCA pastor who is a very uh, thought-provoking, clever, and prolific author. She's young, but she began her pastoral ministry in a church in Denver, Colorado, with the most thought-provoking name that I've ever heard for a church. It's called The House for All Sinners and Saints. I just love the fact that the sinners comes before saints. When you stop and think about it, honestly, isn't every church supposed to be a house for all sinners and saints? The beauty of a verse like Romans 6.23, which says, again, the wages of sin is death. The beauty of that is it's a reminder that you and I believe in and we serve a God of grace, whose grace makes all the difference, not just in the way we believe, but in the way we live. Peace, peace, they cry, but there is no peace. And yet, God comes and in Christ says, My peace I give to you, not as the world knows peace, but as only I can give it to you. That, ladies and gentlemen, truly is what grace to go is all about.